Good evening, and uh, what a privilege to be back here in Krakow, one of my favorite festivals in the world. And uh, we're really grateful to, to Janusz and his whole crew for making this possible. You do so much for Jewish culture in the world by having this festival. So thanks for having us. So this project is a, it's about my experience and, and the experience of the whole group of, of looking in to the text of the Hebrew Bible for some ideas. And this is how it comes out in, in various forms. Uh, we're going to start off with a piece that comes from the book of Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel. Some of you, and I'm sorry uh, I don't speak any Polish at all, so I'm going to do the best I can to say it in English. Hopefully you understand. Uh, Ezekiel was the wildest of the prophets, and his prophecies were completely otherworldly. And we're going to touch on some of those themes tonight. We're going to start off with an encounter that Ezekiel has with God. And it's a very famous story. Ezekiel has a vision, and he sees a pile of bones, and the bones are all dried up. And God says to him, he says, yo, Zeke. You think I can put these bones back together? And Ezekiel turns to him and says, You're asking me, your God. And uh, anyway, this is called The Bones Come Together.
Of course, the, the pile of bones represent the Jewish people and the prophecy of Ezekiel that, uh, that in fact the nation would be ultimately be redeemed. And that theme uh, is present in a lot of different artistic, musical, literary traditions. Um, and we're going to detour to a song that I first heard at a Hasidic wedding in Brooklyn, the Lubavitcher Hasidim, and this was music accompanying a dance that they called a Tachias Hamesim Tanz, a dance for revival of the dead. And during the dance, these two Hasidim would be drinking bottles of vodka, and one would kill the other, and then sober up and see what he had done and bring him back to life in the dance. And uh, so this is the, the music that goes with it. <laughs>
great things about the, the stories in the Bible is that nobody has a monopoly on their interpretation, not the Jews or any religion, and, uh, but they're accessible to everyone. And that song comes from the, the African-American tradition. It's a spiritual. Ezekiel saw the wheel from another 
wild story in that book. And uh, we have an original piece about Ezekiel's wheel that we're going to play in uh, just a moment. But first, I'm going to go way back as I uh, do some uh, psychoanalytic readjusting through the music. Uh, like many <clears throat> American Jews that grew up in pretty assimilated suburban America, uh, my first experience with any of these stories was preparing for the bar mitzvah. And uh, of course, like most of us, well, you know how the story goes. It's like the, there was a, an old shul 